Thanks very much. Um, this is transitioning to e-assessment in uh, mathematics education. So uh, my name, this is a joint project between UCC and uh, University College Cork and CIT, the Cork Institute of Technology. Uh, my name is Tom Carroll. Uh, my colleague here in Mulcrone was to be here today, but he, I think he's after getting held up at an earlier meeting, so he sends his apologies. Um, then in CIT, we have Anya Nihay and Julie Crowley. And they are, um, uh, the, if you like, the CIT half of this, um, of this group. So our, our main project aim is our goal is to, we, are, we want to use um, a tool called Numbus, which has been developed at the University of Newcastle. And we want to use that to integrate e-assessment and e-feedback, I guess, as well, into existing courses at, at uh, UCC and CIT. That's our, that's our goal. Um, these courses are in mathematics and statistics for, uh, initially. So we want to, we have two, if you like, themes to our, our, um, our plan. We implementation, so that's the phase that we're in at the moment, and also evaluation. And for that, what we asked uh, the forum for was, to, was for an intern who, really a project assistant, who would primarily uh, create contact on the content, I mean, on the number system and um, uh, if for, for these particular courses. And then a, a student who would be a master student, and the student then would be, do the, the, help us with the evaluation. So that's really the, the overview of the project. So the, the, our high level goals, if you like. So we want to improve student engagement. We want to improve students' understanding of mathematics, their appreciation of mathematics. We are very much working with students who are going to be maybe in, in as in the last um, talk, who are going to be in large classes not necessarily studying mathematics for the sake of it. So in other words, many of these students will have done their leaving certificate, thought that they were done with maths. Now they've gone to college and they're doing geology or biology or chemistry, whatever it may be, and suddenly there they are. There's another maths course to do. Uh, we want to improve their core mathematics skills, and I'll talk a little bit more later about the, um, the general context for that coming out of second level. And of course, we want to manage lecture workload. This is, this is um, something that needs to be done as well. We uh, want, if you like, it's a soft goal, if you wish, but we want to, to strengthen the relationship between maths at UCC and maths at CIT, and of course, in time, to broaden that as well. And this, is, I'm glad to say, is already, already happening. So the implementation phase in, in, from UCC point of view, right, we haven't been using numbers up until, up until now, right, we are developing content for use in two particular courses, they used to be called maths methods, now they're called under semesterization, their names changed to calculus for scientists one and two. So these would have about 500 students plus in them coming from lots of different kind of general science type um, degrees. So at CIT, numbers is already being used in some business for statistics, uh, statistics for business even, courses. And uh, again, with large numbers of students that they're dealing with, and they have now integrated um, numbers into their, um, into their semester two modules. The, the general feedback so far from that seems to be that um, the, the, the students like the work that they're doing with numbers, they like what they're doing with mathematics in these kind of tutorials and assessments, but there is, there is a diff I guess, there's a potentially a difficulty with this translating into success in the end of year, end of module summative assessments, right? And that is a, perhaps a natural thing. Now, um, so we have a project assistant. Now, I suppose initially in our project proposal, what we wanted was one, per, one project assistant who would work with us for two years and give, the, give us their undivided attention. That perhaps was maybe slightly uh, unrealistic. So now what we are doing is we, we are um, uh, hiring different people to do different things, depending on when they are free and when they are available, and it's still working out fine. Uh, then we have uh, this uh, master studentship who will be really working on the evaluation and we have um, a project description for that. It's being advertised and I'm glad to say yesterday we're even starting to get some um, applications which is nice and we have a closing date of 31st of July. I'll say more about that maybe at the end. Outcomes. 
We have identified some of the key topics, and they would be familiar to many of us, with which students struggle at UCC and at CIT. Uh, statistics, descriptive statistics, so not so much given this data, make a histogram, but here's a histogram, can you interpret it? Can you answer these, the, draw, which, can you extract this information what you, from what you are shown? Probability, connections between relative frequency and probability, understanding in the context of a, of, of, of a particular setting, what the outcomes are, what the events are, what the sample space is, all these kinds of things are, are difficult for students. So it's something that we'd like to work on. Now, at the moment, we have this ongoing assessment in CIT for large classes, maths and stats classes, and we're developing, as I said, this new material for UCC, and we have, if you like, um, how do you say, um, modified um, the module, the formal module description so that all this can take place next year. Well, next year is the 2nd of September, 7th of September. So let me just show you some of the things that, um, that um, some of the types of questions and what numbers looks like a little bit, and some of these are very, are very st straightforward, very innocent looking things, and that's what they are. I mean, they, you have to do, um, uh, it's not all um, fanciness. So these are just very simple things with numbers that students are asked to do. Here they can type in their answer, what they come out with as their answer, and they, they can be to immediately know whether they did it right or did it wrong. If they get it wrong, they can ask for another, see, try another question like this one. They can keep doing things until they feel confident that now they get it and they, they're able to do things. Um, here is, so this is a more an algebraic one. You have some x's, no y's, but x's. Simplify this. And Numbus is nice in that it is quite forgiving in terms of the, um, of the way in which students input their, their answer, right? So it's, it, they, do, they don't have to learn a particular syntax. The, the barrier for, there, there's a very, very low barrier for getting into using this as a student. And, it's, and you can do this, you can do this, the assessments of course are different, but you can do this um, from one's laptop while you're, you're on the bus going home from college. Right? It's just, uh, you just need to log in. You don't need to log in, you just need to connect and you're in. Um, this is a more comp uh, maybe a diff another one that, of, that's been used at CIT. So this is about um, a Poisson random variable, people coming into a shop, how many come in at a particular, particular hour, and they're asked to figure out the, the, the value of lambda, which is the determining thing for the Poisson random variable, and they're asked to do some computations here and uh, figure out some probabilities. Here is another type of one. It shows here their uh, oh yes, this is about annuities and pensions. Yes, becoming ever more important as time goes on. And uh, here, for example, now you begin to see that you know numbers has a lot of functionality, which is what we really want to be able to give ourselves. That's what this project is doing. It's giving us and a project assistant, us to, the time to have ideas, and the project assistants a time to implement them. Right, that's, that, that's really, really this is about. Numbus has a lot of functionality. He can give advice to students. The student can try to get the answer. Then if they don't get things right, then they can say, please, can I have some advice? Of course, that advice is written by us. Yes, and they can have it, they can get more advice if they need more advice, etc., etc. So this is almost like a mini tutorial on how to do this kind of problem. Right, so that's fair enough. Then, oh, this will be interesting. And uh, then we were thinking to ourselves, okay, but what can really can numbers do as now as we go forward? What, what can we get it to do? Is, are, there, are there barriers to this or does it always have to be little questions like this? Um, how do you do this? Okay. Right. So, um, so we, we asked ourselves, okay, if we really wanted as maths, if we really... Oh, I can see it, but why can't you see it? Oh, dear. Oh, I love technology. <laughs> um, PowerPoint, that one, feedback, this is the one. I'll try clicking on it again. You don't see that. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to make you see it. Does anybody know about technology here? <laughs> oh, here. Isn't it great this is being uh, broadcast live? Yes, to the why universe. Do I, why do I volunteer? <laughs> <laughs> I have two of them now, you see. Ah, uh, look. Oh, thank you. Good man, that's great. Thank you, well done. You don't go too far away. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
So we asked, what, what could this potentially do? So, okay, in probability, you have the normal distribution, the bell-shaped curve. What, uh, this is not a question. This is just like something the students can play with and maybe learn something about. So, all right. Um, oh, no. Oh, dear. How do you... Okay. Well, I can't find the cursor. This all worked perfectly when we were in Cork. Where did you find it? In the middle, really? Oh, that screen. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you very much. So mu is the mean of your normal distribution. If you move, you can change the mean along this bar, and you see the distribution moves to the left and the right, but it doesn't change shape. If I change uh, sigma, which is the, the standard deviation, I can make sigma smaller. That makes the distribution tighter. It gets more peaked. And then if you make sigma bigger, the distribution becomes flatter and it becomes more spread out. And you can see that at the same time when you let go of the cursor, the, what's generated down here on the bottom are, let's say, 100 random points from the distribution. You see that you get a lot more points in the uh, middle, where there's a lot of probability, where there's a lot of thing, and then you get fewer points out in the tails, which are the less likely outcomes. You also get up here on the top, you get the, um, the calculus standard deviation of the points and the mean of the points, so you can make, con and you know, for example, this is just a demonstration, right? You could have a confidence interval showing where the mean is and, how, and all these kinds of things. So we thought that if we, want, if we were able to do a, question, a type of question like this, we might have to do it in, say, for example, Mathematica and import that into Numbus, but it turns out that this can be all done directly in JavaScript, directly on Numbus. So these are the things that can be done, and I think if you can do this, you can pretty much do anything. Right. Three minutes. Uh, three minutes, thank you. Um, now I have to make my presentation come back. <laughs> this is not a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't find it. Oh, thank you. Can you make it get bigger? Oh, maybe that's this one. No. Yeah. Is it? No. No, it wasn't that one. It's OK. You can just go with the car. All right, that's fine. Okay. Oh, yes, just sorry. Now it's big on this. This is very strange. OK. Uh, so a little bit about national. Oh, yes, sorry about the three minutes, and I've wasted up all the time. Um, the context in which we are working here is a context where students now are doing a new mathematics curriculum at second level, which is, you know, I'm not going to say what I think about it, but uh, no, no, I'm not. I mean, I don't mean that in any, any, any negative way, but it is very controversial. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions on project maths. For example, um, and there, in Ireland, there's always an awful lot of discussion about mathematics. It's been happening the last few weeks because we've had the Leaving Certificate. We've had headlines in the national newspapers, like uh, such as Fury over Ordinary Level Mathematics Paper. Fury. Yes. This is a, an article from the Irish Times talking about, um, um, oh, now they've done this, and this, you won't be able to see this again. So this is an article from the Irish Times. It says, Project Maths linked to decline in third level performance. It talks about a, a, a diagnostic test run at the University of Limerick, and it compares uh, the results of students in that diagnostic test with their uh, grade from mathematics coming in from second level, and the negative correlation between the two, growing negative correlation between the two. Um, so, you know, there is a lot of, of um, no, sorry. Um, where is my nice, well, I can see it here, yes. Uh, so, sorry about this. <laughs> uh, there's a disconnect between the two. Um, national impact, a little bit about national impact. So at the moment, we have had some local dissemination of what we've been doing at UCC. So UCC had a digital day there on the 6th of December, which was very widely attended by the, across the university. And that too, you'll be glad to know, was broadcast uh, to, to the universe. Um, we, had local, we have local interest already at UCC and CIT in expanding the use of numbers. So already I have colleagues who's, who are saying, can this be done in my commerce? Can I use this in my first commerce course? Because that's got 250 students and I don't know what to do with them all. Uh, colleagues of C in CIT saying, could we use this in accounting? 
And of course you can. Numbus, okay, maybe has, you know, maybe initially used for, for mathematics, but there's no reason why you can't have accounting type questions or use that functionality there. There is a lot of interest, I think this is clear to everybody here, there is a lot of interest in Ireland um, on, how, uh, on the, the teaching of mathematics for service teaching as well, which is really what I'm talking about. And for example, this is demonstrated, there's an annual conference in maths and stats, service teaching and learning, which is something we would like to be inv more involved with. We have contact with the Irish Mathematics Teachers Association, which links us in with second level. For ex and so, in fact, our, um, we had an application yesterday for our, for our mast research masters from a um, recently graduated secondary school teacher coming through, yes, through contact with this organization. We need to develop, and I admit this, an enhanced web presence, and we need to, um, in time, expand this beyond UCC and CIT. Okay, so I'll stop there and I apologize for the technical glitches. Well, thank you. Very thank much. you.